In this video, we're going to create a backend that, given a URL, will scrape all of the text content from it and give it to me in JSON format. And we're going to do this using BuildShip, a brand new exciting tool that combines the best of the low code and the no code world to make creating backend solutions, especially complex ones, as easy as just a few clicks. So, Here's my build ship project. I've got a few workflows. I'm actually just creating a new one and I'm going to get started by adding a trigger. So I'm going to use the rest API call one in order to get that URL and then pass it on to the web scraper. So let's call this scrape text. So that's our path. Our method is going to be get. So that's going to be a query param. So that's going to be a query parameter and then We'll just need to add our next node. So I'll click here on the plus button. And now I've got a bunch of options for nodes that I can add. I'm going to go ahead and look up the scrape web URL one, which is already existing. So select that and add it to our workflow. So you can see now data will flow from our trigger over to our next node, which is the scrape web URL one. So the URL is going to come directly from an expression that we create that's going to come from variables request query parameters. So there's our query. And then we'll just extract from that the name of our URL variable, which I'll call URL. <laughs> no need to be complicated. Cool. So there's our URL. Our selector is going to be the body. So it's going to get all of the text from the body. And once that's done, all we got to do is add another node. So have our return node here which is going to respond to the API caller with a status code. We're going to go with 200 and with a value, which we will set to be scrape web, URL, scrape web URL content. And that's all we got to do, friends. Let's go ahead and ship this workflow. Great. Now that this is deployed, let's go and try it out on a real blog post. Amazing. So here we've got one of Rowie's latest blog posts. We're going to go ahead and use our brand new workflow to go through this blog post and get all the text. And we're going to do that over here in Postman. So here in Postman, we've set up our URL. Our URL key is ready. So I'm just going to put in our value. And with all of that done, we should be ready to go. Go ahead and click send. And there you have it, all of the text and content from our blog post given to us in JSON format in just a few clicks. How amazing is that? Let's go back to BuildShip real quick. All right, friends, so there you have it. In just three nodes and a handful of clicks, we've set up a fully functional web scraping backend that we can give a URL to, and it'll give us a bunch of text in that URL. And this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with BuildShip. There's so much more you can do, and you're going to see a whole lot more of it in our next few videos. So stay tuned and see you next time.